have another show of, of course, Live from Sour Apple, the new age question of the day show where we, well, I, find you a guest. They ask you a question and you, you know, get on the blog site at www.laapnation.blogspot.com. Answer, leave your comments, and we just go back and forth and we have us a really good time. Today, as you can see, I got a got a guest with you. And if you don't know this guy, you got to be crazy. Because, I mean, he's kill- He's the Will Smith of Chicago independent film. His, his latest movie, I Used to Love Her, is crazy. He's just killing the game. I mean, um, true, three-time Truth Award winner for poetry. Also... <laughs> Just see if you want to go business so we can take it out of entertainment. My man is like one of the top executives for prepaid legal. So if y'all need some legal stuff going, holler at him. But you can holler at me because I do it too because he put me on. But, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? We're going to holler. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mel Rob. What's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? Everything's all good over here. Oh, don't forget. I uh, just did a film with Tom Sizemore and Clifton Powell. Tom Sizemore. Si- Saints and Mount Christopher. Y'all already so know. Look it up. I, IMDB, yeah, this yeah, brother. Yeah. You already know. So, so you 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 seen the show, of course. Of course. Of, of course, course, man. Of course. I, I, Except I for Mike Reynolds. You don't Except for Mike him. Reynolds, man. Mm-hmm. Mike Reynolds, I don't like you. I'm a <laughs> Reynolds hater. No, I'm just kidding. Reynolds is my boy, man. But, yeah. Okay. I, I, I like what you're doing in the in the green machine, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Sour apple. Yes, sir. Sour apple. You know what I'm saying? Don't call it Shrek. Don't call it nothing else. It's sour apple coming through your hood. What a wine candy. I don't you know, oh, oh no! Apple. You know what? I'm gonna start doing that, see, giving the guests see, see. sour apple My candy. My idea, sour apple wine candy. Gotta love it. So, um, so brother, let's let's just go ahead, open them up, hit them with the question. Let's jump right question. in. Question, question. Like, what is the difference between success and failure? Um, I mean, we could take it business, we could take it artists, we could take it wherever. But why is it that it seems like there are some people that are so on top of their game? And there are other people that are involved in the same industry, you know, music, whatever. And um, they don't seem to have the same level of success mm-hmm. as as the other people that have grinded it out or whatever. Because some people say it's luck. Mm-hmm. You know, some people say, oh, he just got lucky. You know, right place, right time. He got lucky. But I, I think there's some I think there's some some fundamental principles at work here that determine how far an artist, an actor, a singer, a poet. Um, a musician, a writer, or mm-hmm. whatever. It's some stuff that, you know, kind of separates the men from the boys and the girls from the women. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think I think that's the question. So, okay, the so the question of the day is, what's what what what's the difference between success and failure? Yeah. What can make you successful, and why aren't more people successful and more people fail? Mm-hmm. You know, I think like do, do you want to go into it? I, I mean, if you if you want to jump in, because I, I already got my little you know my little formulation, because I I was I was thinking on my way to the green machine, and um, I got some stuff I want to say, but I want to hear your your. I, I want to say I I think the reason people fail more is Chicago. Okay. Yeah. I I feel the reason more people fail than succeed. Is, is a simple is a simple thing. It's too easy to be good and it's too hard to be great. Too easy to be good and too hard to be great. I, you know what I'm saying? Think, yeah, yeah. You, it's one of those situations where, especially in the day and age, depending on what you're trying to do, um, certain things need a, a harder grind. Right. You know, right, 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 like right. If, you know, no shout out, no no diss to postal workers. Cause I've been eating off postal workers all my life. You know, father, I mean my stepfather, my mom. You know, postal workers. I even worked there for a minute, but if that's your channel, once you get in, it's you stay there, you deliver your mail. It's it's, it's almost thoughtless. It's almost thoughtless work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and I was a carrier. So I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a, grueling. A it was grueling. You know, when you right, when right, you right, delivering right. in the rain seat. So I respect them because they. I definitely respect them. But it's it's a pattern. That's one hustle. Mm-hmm, you see what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Unless they decide they wanna, you know, elevate to become something bigger in that organization. Um, I think people need to. Uh, I think a lot of people fail necessarily because they don't assess the type of hustle they need for what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. You must understand that when you pick something, you must also have that energy level to do it. Same reason why I think about it. Like in my film, I go hard. Mm-hmm. I got awards. I got a car. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. in prepaid legal, you slacked off. I, yeah, do much. I don't do much. So but see, here know. it is. You got, you have, <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? It's different hustles. You got to know what your hustle is. I mean, I, I like to put myself on the child and block right, so right, people right, don't right, right. think that I want to take shots right, at other people. Right. 
you you have to realize my hustle for one thing is greater than my hustle for others. I, I think another thing too, though, man, and 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 not just getting out there and grinding is um, number one, being passionate about whatever it is oh, that you're definitely. doing. It, it's so many people out here that. Um, are in the music game or whatever, and even if they're not good lyrically, their passion for what they're mm -hmm. doing, it, it, it comes across, and they're able to sell themselves based on their passion mm -hmm. for what they what they actually believe in. And, and so many cats out here, man, that are talented, naturally talented, they just don't have that vigor behind what it is that they're trying to do, so they don't, they don't go anywhere. Um, and sales, and I think everything is sales, yeah. no matter what. Um, the last part uh, of enthusiasm means I am so myself. You have to have this enthusiasm or this fire mm -hmm. in you so that when you do it, like when Jay spit, you know, mm -hmm. Jay is one of my favorite artists. Oh, I, exactly. I, I love Jay. But he believes in what he's doing. <laughs> he <laughs> believes in what he's doing. And, and there's, there's, there's a passion and there's a grind in that I will not be denied attitude. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people go into stuff thinking, well, I'm going to try this out. Well, well, Master Yoda said in Star Wars to, to young Luke Skywalker, I think it was Return of the Jedi, The Empire Strikes Back. He said, no try, do or do not. Mm -hmm. And you got to make that decision like this is going to be my thing. I'm going to get out. Rain, sleet, hail, mm -hmm. snow. It's going to happen for me. Mm -hmm. And until you make that decision up here, man, it's not it's not going to happen for you physically in the world. Yeah. That's what I think. Personally. So that's that's pretty much right there. That pretty much sums it up. Yeah. You do not try. You do or you, you do, do not. not. Yeah, and man. I mean, that's it. Get out. I say get out, get out and do it, guys. I mean, that's it. And the other thing too though is 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 researching your industry. Mm -hmm. Like being a student of the Knowledge. game. You know what I'm saying? I know you you went to school for film. You were involved and entrenched and No, I didn't go to school for film. What what were you no. doing up at Chicago State? Yeah, I was doing communications and marketing. Okay. Well But I I got the books and right. I got the watch okay, and go. I was like oh and all I picked right, up the right, cameras right. and I played My and I apologies. kept doing well see you had self knowledge yeah so yeah. You, even if it wasn't a specialized schooling knowledge you picked up the books and I did the, the research like you, you did said. the research I did the research and, and so much stuff man they put in books where you could go learn to do what it is that you want to do but so many people won't take the time to pick up a book for somebody so somebody mm -hmm. told me in life there are mentors mm -hmm. and there are mistakes mm -hmm. um, mentors are the easy way because with mentors they can teach you the mistakes they already made mm -hmm. and you don't have to make the same mistakes. Right. With well, mistakes, you just out there messing up and trying to figure it out and bumping your head. And at the end of the day, man, you know, you done did a lot of stuff that you could have avoided mm -hmm. had you just picked up a book and saw how somebody else did it. We're going to end this because we run out of time. But I, I, before I end, get you one of these. Yup. This is like, Free. this This is the green visa. This buys you anything in this store called the library. This is the Chicago one. You know, they got them all in every other city. Get you one of these. I mean, movies, CDs, books, books on tape. Matter of fact, they got this thing called Overdrive where you can download books straight to your computer, put them on your, your Zoom, your iPod, and bump it out. It's no excuses, people. Let's get it. So, but before we, yo, I got to get to the stage. We got to get you to the stage. We got to get to the stage. We got to keep. I love talking to you, but we got to get you to the stage. We gonna get my man to the stage. We gonna get it popping. Mel Rob in the stage. See you in a minute. Live from South Apple. Chuck Deuces. I am the MVP, more affectionately known as Mel Rob, the voice of the people. Ain't no prequel, equal, or sequel because from the womb to the tomb, I'm just that lethal. See, when I was younger, my mother wanted to name me Viper because even as an infant, what I spit was deadly. You never thought that the medley from a two-year-old could be so heavy. Child prodigy speaking prophecies and philosophies. So logically, there was a misunderstanding concerning my dichotomy. See, I was born half man, half amazing. Half ice cold, half blazing. My grandfather's from New Orleans, so I guess I'm the spice that you need in your life because I'm half Cajun and the other half Angel. And when I was a toddler, my father wanted to rename me Sniper. He looked through the pages of my coloring books and found out that I was a silent but deadly writer. There were mounds of melted crayons because my hands was on fire. Written below the cartoons and pictures, there were odes, haikus, prose, and scriptures. I was a poesia, poesaja, kavi, rato, multiple dialect, potent poetry spitter. So needless to say, preschool was just a waste of my time. I wanted to hear Shakespeare, so Dr. Susan 
mother goose were nothing more than a waste of rhyme. And when I was a youngin', my cousin gave me the nickname Farmer. Because I made sure that every verbal seed that I planted led to nothing but good poetic karma. With ink in my bloodstreams, if I had a nightmare, I sweat out poetry in my dreams. Look at the place where I laid my face and you find I perspired a poem onto my pillowcase. And when I was a teenager, that's when things got major. I fell in love with a chick named Bick and had a mistress named Papyrus. But unfortunately, I had cordially infected both of them with my virus. Ain't no doses to heal my prognosis of a terminal case of verbalitis. And they called me King Midas at 16 years old. So Miss Bick and Lady Papyrus naturally turned to gold. And when the three of us got together for a menage a trois, you should have heard the stories that got told. It's not wise to face me blow for blow. I rep hard for Chicago. Not even Cotex, Tempex, and Playtex combined could attempt to check my flow. And now that I'm a little bit older, the wordplay gets much doper. The Frank Lucas of positive poetry and I got the urban block sold up. Born and raised on the south side of the Windy City so I can't help but to be colder than most of ya. You want food for thought? Well I got toast for ya. And I also got words cause I heard that a man can't live off bread alone. So I spit hard or I go home. Whether spitting written bars or coming straight from the dome. I make the toughest of men get nervous and worried like R. Kelly was their next door neighbor and their teenage daughter is home alone. Haters can't wait till I'm dead and gone. So when God pulls my number and it's time for me to go to heaven put my real name on my tombstone. Not Will Smith, but I am legend. Holla at your boy, Mel Rob. Oh!